And now I want to share with you, it's a book called Multi University 4000. June, 2031. Irene is walking in the campus of the Multi University 3000. She loves the path full of flowers and enjoys the beautiful trees around the elegant structures of the white buildings. A nice looking man is passing by. Hello, I'm new here. Yes, of course. What is your name? Irene. Irene, where do you come from? Uh, it's a long story. I come from China, but my father is from the US and my grandmother from France. And you? I'm the Dean. My name is Anku. Let's walk. Wow, you look so young. Yes, he burst into laugh. I graduated when I was 16 years old from my seven pedal school. Well, my school. I must admit that my grandmother and my parents helped me quite a lot. My sister, Anka, too. Then I went to the university, the traditional one, but I did not like it at all. So I decided to leave it and I started to set up my own university. How did you do all that? Yes, yes, first of all, I updated the subjects and we changed the system of careers so we can take as much classes as we want. They are short, interesting, and applied topics. We started with bioarchitecture, new technologies. Our first assignment was to make a small car running on water, I remember. New communication, post-quantum physics, history of the galaxy, Metaphysics, uh, Geopolitics 4000, and Culture of Peace. Wow! Yeah, all of that. We did it step by step, with only four subjects at the beginning. Bioarchitecture, New Energy Sources, Universal Geometry, and Horizontal Leadership. <clears throat> we put Universal Geometry because I love it. Me too! Especially the flower of life. Remember, that was 11 years ago. We were going through so many problems in the society at that time. Wow, yes, I remember. I was stuck at home for months with my stupid face mask. How did you do your new classes? With lectures, books? No, obviously we changed the methodology. We searched for how to do a collaborative educational bioenvironment and self-constructed practical integral learning, acting, sharing system. Wow, that's a lot of adjectives. First, inner development and teamwork were necessary to implement. I did not like the competitiveness, the destruction, the lack of self-esteem, the system of control. Neither did I. Then, we decided to create a solidary university with multiple approaches. That's why we call it multi-university. Where we build, we are active, we offer solutions instead of complaining. Well done! Mm -hmm. I want to learn that way. I want to be able to help my society in a practical way. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Well, and something important as well. My sister Anka said that our multi-university has to look after our planet. Air, soil, water, flora, fauna, natural resources, the space. We didn't know much about decontamination techniques. We got the permission to get the free patents of renewable energy for us with zero point energy. Then we decided to start with our geopolitics peace classes. We proceeded organically, opening up more subjects and careers according to the needs of the students. At the beginning, it was all digital because of the situation. But after, look, we got this beautiful campus, which has been another story too. But we got it. We set up a system of student exchange programs with all five continents. Yes, this is why I knew about the multi-university, because of the exchange program. You can be in a degree for three months and, and then you can change to another, getting your credits little by little. Oh, cool! Let's go and visit the technology room. We have big, fabulous 4D and holographic screens. They do not damage the eyesight. Here we see many students doing their projects. What kind of projects? Many. New sources of energy, video games, hologram games, community projects, practical projects, green projects. Actually, what we evaluate is the community impact. It is very practical, you know. Look here, Irene, we have many games, online classes, webinar events, meetings, exchanges with other countries. Um, some students are going right now to Indonesia, Ethiopia, Beijing. It's very international, as you can see. 
And we have a big network of all the projects. They are all in a cloud. It's very big. We call it our galaxy network. It is a teamwork in real time. It's really dynamic. What is this? Oh, this is our stellar communicator. We have many new things that you will be excited about. Look here, Anka. This is amazing. Uh, uh, I'm not Anka, though. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're Irene. But you look like Anka, my sister. I love Anka very much. <laughs> oh, I see. Irene, shall we go for some coffee? Well, yes, yeah, sure. Great. But first, I have to show you this special place. Uh, we not only have very high-tech classes, but as well as low-tech classes. We learn about ancient knowledge and technology. Oh, I would like to take that subject, too. <laughs> you won't be bored here. We do know each student, and we do care for them, their life, their purpose of life, their ideals and their abilities, the tremendous abilities most of the time. And in the end, they finish with a big portfolio with many subjects interconnected and tools to be able to create a new world. Yes, a new world. That's it. I agree. I really do. Anku, I do not see any le teachers or lectures here. Uh, there's no teachers. What? Here, it's a horizontal relationship. We are all equals. Look at this expert over there. He is a post-quantum physics genius. He comes to support us from Bangladesh. He's a mentor. He's fantastic. We do not permit a vertical learning. Hmm, so interesting. Here is our cafeteria. What do you want to drink? We have organic coffee, de decaffeinated if you wish, almond milk. Oh, thank you. Um, I will drink tea, you know. I was born in China. Sure. Please, one coffee and one black tea, please. Irene, next to the cafeteria, we have a place with quantum internet from a quantum multi-level computer. Therefore, our research goes fast, and we can do it in parallel. Irene, that laboratory over there at the end of the corridor? Also, here we have many experts as well who help us with galactic information. Wow, you all are friends here. Yes, this is the most important thing in life. Life with no friends does not make sense. I agree. Here, teachers, researchers, specialists, we are all a team. We are all friends. Look at this cafeteria. It's like a coffee shop. We can study here, study in groups. Six here, ten over there. Some on the sofa, some on the floor. Yes, it's very comfortable here. Look here. That classroom's a little old. We used it when we began. Uh, to have nonviolent communication, empathy, culture of peace, diplomacy, group management, neurolinguistic program. This room is now renovated with holographic techniques using our multidimensional brain. We have improved that a lot. We have telepathy class as well. <laughs> I want to take that class as well. Okay, after we have our drinks, I will show you our technology workshop where we can make our own stuff. Here we have a studio with Universal TV and our own 40 audio visual production. We can communicate instantly with all continents. So, you know, make our holographic meanings. Look, Irene, you will like that. Here we have group activities with uh, surround sound music. We have a band. We play games. We love no competitive sports. Also, we have healthy drinks and food also. And everyone is in charge of their own bio garden. We grow our own food. I see. The gardens are so green, and you have plenty of flowers. Yes, we all have our bio gardens. The students can bring their pets, dogs, cats. A student brought their llama one time from Bolivia. The llama adapted well and helped us to <laughs> cut the grass. A llama? Over there, we have a sport arena, gymnasium, an avant-garde cultural center, and an art center. Wow! We got international support, and we won a prize for the most advanced bio-architecture. Here, a multi-level cinema and a theater. We can organize concerts, discotheques, dances. That was my grandmother's idea. In addition, we offer 10 different languages in the curriculum. We call it a career life. We have planetary exchanges. We can volunteer on all continents. We can go to China, Africa, South America. We have social and geopolitical programs. 
this is what students like most. We have a social journalism section and many multicultural activities. Do you know what the haka is, Irene? No, I have no idea. On Friday, let's go to the haka session. It's a Maori technique. They are the native people from New Zealand. Students love it. Is there something else? Yes, yes, Irene. The local axis or local content? What is that? We learn about local culture, ecology, history, geography, knowledge, wisdom. It, it's important for students to have good roots, know their own history, even for migrants. We all have to connect with the land. This month, we are going to celebrate the solstice. You're welcome to come. We do the same with the equinox and the eclipses and any special astrological event. And we honor our ancestors. Well, I knew, I knew that from the Chinese culture already. But in a university? My dear, this is the multi-university. We have self-discovery or know-yourself classes. Many personal development activities. Like, for example, Taoism, Greek, Egyptian, and Mayan cultures. From India as well. Uh, we have Ayurvedic classes. It is wonderful because it's our quantum essence. We are multi-level. I want to study here, uncle. And why do you say timeline here? Oh, this is just a, it's a special class we just opened. Because we're a multi-level system. We, we think in, in different levels of timelines, of, of levels of consciousness. We work organically here. Organic? No, no. Organic means that what we do is flexible. It responds to a necessity. If it is easy to multiply, it can be like fractals. Do you mean synchronicity? Universal love as well? Yeah, something like that. Can you see this uh, sculpture with the shape of a heart? Yes. We erected it because we wanted to remember that everything, everything we do is with an open mind and an open heart. It's a wonderful concept, yes. Yes, in China we have the same concept. It's wonderful because we do service to humanity. We connect with our life purpose at the same time. This is so beautiful. By the way, this is called reconnecting education or quantum education. This is the present and the future and the past. Well, we continue turning the golden pages of consciousness and writing destiny. This is happening. And it will happen. We are co-creating it. We are the flow of life, Irene. Why are you crying?